There are even texts suggesting that the pilots of the Vamana aircraft were capable of what we today would call radar and radio communication. It's documented that when the Vamana aircraft took off, they followed smoke and fire. It could ascend and descend vertically and travel through the air at great speed. There are also passages about these ancient aircraft equipped with advanced weaponry. One of the Sanskrit texts, the Mahabharata, details an observation of such weapons in use, stating this. It was an unknown weapon, an eye of thunderbolt, a gigantic messenger of death, which reduced to ashes the entire race of the Vrishnas and the Andakas. The corpses were so burned as to be unrecognisable. Hair and nails fell out. Pottery broke without apparent cause, and the birds turned white. After a few hours, all foodstuffs were infected. To escape from this fire, the soldiers threw themselves in streams to wash themselves and their equipment. To the modern reader, this description is reminiscent of the effects of the nuclear bombs used on Japan in 1945. Strangely enough, there are also traces of high levels of radiation in remote ancient sites such as the Mohenjo Daro in modern day Pakistan and Rajasthan in India. How could ancient people who lived thousands of years before the supposed invention of the aeroplane have acquired knowledge of advanced aeronautics? And could they have had the tools necessary to build the Vimana themselves? What do you think?